Hello, welcome to a look at InDesign. So I'm going to look at sort of setting the page up. I've been looking a little bit about the rule of thirds. So I think it'd be fun to try to maybe do something like that. So if we go to create guides here in layout, it's kind of interesting because what you can actually do is you can actually create that rule of thirds. So the rule of thirds should be that there's like three rows and three columns, right? So let's just do that, right? So gutter of zero, because when you're doing stuff for actual, you know, for media and then video, which is what I do, you don't you don't care about the margins. That's that's not stuff that's, that's interesting, right? So that is pretty good, but you can see when I created this document, it just came up with this border and the margins on its own. So we go to margins and columns, we just put that as zero. And that way we get you to the rule of thirds. I just want to go through like some of the the techniques you basically need to have like rectangular and circular elements so and then you sort of group them in a way that they appear attractive on the page the composition is you've got a circular element you have a large rectangle two second larger rectangles and then three smaller rectangles the negative space is ordered and that the, the and the composition is uh looks good right and the point is is that wherever the circle goes it will actually it, will, it should actually be able to help the composition so grouping elements like this is going to create the white space so it's like even though there's a lot of elements on the screen the white space is actually quite it seems like there's a lot of space there there's other ways to do it as well and i think this may be to do with the top left to bottom right thing so we're going to just uh we're going to go for this next one which is called perimeter edge relationship i, I think in general for all of these the, the uh this ball can go basically anywhere so I can just, you know, okay, so here we have what is called a perimeter edge relationship. By moving these, uh, okay, so that gives a completely different feel, right? I think the uh, the long rectangle is also gets a bit more expansive here as well. Now the next one to try is the strong axial relationship. So they're actually quite similar. They don't have to move too much around. All right, I think that's going to do it for this one. I've got quite a lot more to talk about this.